Semigal Stallions, welcome to Stallion Station episode 11. Brought to you by Semigal Leaders. Let's take a look at the habit of the week. Habit of the week, habit number two. Make a plan is a key concept of habit two. Begin with the end in mind. Habit two reminds us that all things are created twice. First, we get a picture in our mind. Then we work toward that picture. Let's say you have a math test this week. Close your eyes and imagine yourself doing really well on your test. Imagine how you feel when you tell your parents. Then you will decide how you will achieve your goal. Make a plan. Decide you will work really hard in class. Make sure you do all your assignments and ask questions if you don't understand. That way, when your test comes up on Friday, you are prepared. You made a plan and stuck with it. You will reach your goals. How are you beginning with the end of mind this week? Quote of the week. By failing to plan, you are preparing to fail. Benjamin Franklin. That means in order to reach our goals, we need a really good plan. So after you make a goal, visualize it. Imagine it coming true. And most importantly, plan how you will reach your goal. Thursday, November 11th is Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a federal holiday to honor military veterans, people who have served in the United States Armed Forces. Enjoy your day off Thursday. But make sure to thank a veteran. Thank you for your service. Kindness Day is November 13th. We are going to celebrate kindness here at school this Friday. This week we will be decorating our door using kindness as our theme. Friday we will take a door display walk. Also, this Friday, November 12th, we will have another pajama day. Woo Let's celebrate kindness and comfort. It's time for our National Day update. Today's National Day is National STEM STEAM Day. STEAM Day is meant to inspire students in the world of science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Science rocks. I, I don't know. I'm kind of a math type of girl. Guys, I'm an artist. Well, I guess today is perfect for all of us. And now it's time for our Stallion Staff Spotlight. We are here with Mr. Roland. Hi, Mr. Roland. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Okay, so we have these questions here. And there's one that is very important. And it depends if you stay on the show or not. And how I, did, how I like you. Okay. So ketchup, are you a ketchup or mustard person? I'm a ketchup person. High five. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta get to the serious business. All right. Okay, what's your most practiced habit? My most practiced habit is probably habit number three. First things, putting first things first. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, what was your childhood dream? Oh, my childhood dream. Oh, wow. I don't really think I really had a childhood dream. I, I always kind of wanted to be in the military, so. Oh. I guess you can say that's probably my childhood dream. Oh, that's, that, that I actually never knew that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. What um, is your favorite sport? Oh, I'm a football guy. I love football. Ooh. I actually love college football more than the NFL football. Really? Yes. Oh, you're really interesting. What do you do on your free time? On my free time, I do a lot of different things. I like to play golf, um, hang out with some friends, and shoot a game of pool. You play I golf? I play chess, too. I'm a big chess player. And chess? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Thanks for being on Stallion Station. Wait a minute. You want to ask the wow. question? Wow. <laughs> yes! Okay, you can ask the question. How long were you bald for? I've been bald since I was 26 years old. I started losing my hair when I was 26 years old. I'm 56 years old now, so you do the math. <laughs> I've been bald for a long time. <laughs> well, you still look good. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And that's the end of this interview with Mr. Roland. It was very nice with you today. You're very interesting. And thanks for being here. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Me too. <laughs> 
Hey Stallions, I'm standing in Friday's Fog right now, so it's pretty creepy. Um, but yeah, so next week it is definitely not going to be foggy. It's going to be pretty sunny and warm at the end of the week. So on Monday it's just going to be partly cloudy with a high of 69 degrees, which is pretty chilly. So once again, sweater weather or something. On Tuesday it's partly cloudy again, high of 72, just a mad temperature. Same temperatures and it is still going to be cloudy on Wednesday, not much sun, so just be ready for that, you guys. Okay, on Thursday, finally the sun is going to come out. And with a high of 82, it is getting so much warmer at the end of the week. And then last day, our Friday red day, um, it is going to be sunny again with a high of 86. It is going to be super warm, so wear like a t-shirt or something because it is just going to be so hot. Okay, well, have a good day. Tune in next week. Bye. Hi, my name is David, and I am your new Student Lighthouse President. Hi, my name is Madison Arcee, and I'm your new Student Lighthouse Vice President. Hi, my name is Luna, and I'm your new Student Lighthouse Secretary. Hi, my name is Sophia, and I'm your Treasurer. Hi, I'm Lisa and I am your new Spirit Commissioner! Hi, my name is Maida and I'm your Fire Marshal. Was it you were or you? Wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, I can't see it. Oh my god. <laughs> fail. Quad up the. That means. Hold up, wait. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This Adams I can barely see right now, I don't know.